Okay, so I just got back from vacation. I want to check this 70 or uh, not 75, 105 day corn right here. I'm gonna pull an ear off. I hate pulling ears off, but we're gonna see what it looks like here. See if I can set you guys somewhere that you don't fall. I guess that'll work. Let's see what it looks like. Now this went through two months of drought, so very first set of planted. See it's got a little bit of tip back on the top on this ear. But overall, for two months of drought, that is a hell of an ear for a 105 day that went through two. It's already dented, as you can see. So let's count it up. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one. So sixteen by forty-one. Looks pretty good for big cob, big kernels. Looks pretty good for no rain for two months. Pretty impressed with that. But actually very impressed with that. This is the very first corn that we planted and it got hit the hardest with the drought. And I mean, everything looks good. I'm glad that it's dented. It looks really good. I mean, doesn't really have the height because of the drought. It was kind of lacking on the height. But I mean, I think that it is excellent looking corn. I'll show you some more of it. I come over here to cut the grass, but my brother is actually cutting the grass. We just got back, so, from vacation. So I'm gonna let him keep right on rolling and we'll go do some corn checks. Ride along on the gator with me. 105 day. Now this over here is the new 109 day corn. Let's look at that too. See it's got some, it went through some drought on the top there. It's dented already too. That's just a random ear. Then you come over here, and that's all the way to the top. I think we're gonna have some tip back on the early stuff right there. It's on the end row. You might get in there and see a little bit different story. Oh, I hate, 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 hate walking in corn. Yeah, see, that's all the way up. That outside row probably got bugs or something it was eating on it but all the way down that's dented so happy with that that went through the drought as well here's 105 let's see what it looks like on this end and as you can see it's got some tip back on it a little bit of disease at the top so it got hit hard with the drought. I think it's still gonna yield pretty good. There's a 
108 day sea consultant. Now this is a little bit later planted corn. Let's see how this looks. This is all real time. I'm not hiding anything from anybody here. We're just gonna rip this ear off. Cause it's got another big ear on it anyway. Now this is a 1087 the true champion every year. Seems like our later plant of corn will probably do better in the early. Normally it's the early corn does better, but this year the rains hit it different. But as you can see, this is healthy. Really pretty. Heavy. Really heavy. It's starting to just get the dent in it. Let's do a count on this bad boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight. Now it's got eighteen around. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It's one, two, three, two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, two, eight, two, nine, thirty. It's one, two, three, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So it's eighteen by thirty-nine. That is pretty. 18. If you can get 18 around, that's pretty damn good. So, looks pretty. Here, 105 day, 105, 108. Planted probably two and a half, three weeks apart. So, you can see this is a lot drier. Even though they're both dented, you can just tell the color. This is drying out a lot quicker. Here is what they look like. Look how much bigger the cob is on this. Pretty happy with it. I'm actually happy with that 105 day. This right here, the 108 day, went through a drought, but it was still young. It doesn't seem like it hurt the young as bad as it did the old. You know, the, the earlier planted. So... But I still think we're going to yield really well on the early corn and uh, get it in for some early contracts. If we can do 180, 200 on the early stuff, which it looks like we will, I'm thinking it's going to do very well. This is the, here I'll show you the ears. Main field. Now I got that up by the barn on that bin. So you don't really hit it very well with the sprayer and the fertilizer thing. But there's the 105 to here. Now tell me they ain't nice looking. And it's a lot taller back here. Up there it doesn't get as tall. But here's the 108 day. I mean just pretty corn, cool. looks healthy. And then we got 108 day on the other side. four or five rows as you watch in the previous video so 108 108 all the way down looks good Ugh.
eight foot tall. Definitely got the rings. Later corn's actually gonna do better this year. same variety the 115 day up at the farm so pop brought me two or three bags back here and uh finished playing and we got her done so that was good and that field right there that's one of our best fields to put corn or any crop in So I looked at my book. That field over there is the 105 day that I showed, 104 day that I showed you earlier. This is the 105 day corn that I just got some bags of. You see where I've been out here with the sprayer. I uh, planted it two by two, um, put some fertilizer down before with a dry spreader, a bunch of different stuff. And then this is kind of like a test field. Came back and uh, fertilized it again and put um, then I came back with fungicide and sugars so here's what it looks like that's right down where I come in out of here here's the field it's right in front of the house it's only a little five acre field but I mean they are some big kernels I don't know if the fungicide helped got a little bit of insect damage there but for 104 days, two months, no rain. I don't know if it worked or if it didn't work. So, I don't know if it worked or it didn't work. I kind of put the fungicide on a little late, but I'm hoping that it helped you see a little insect damage right there. But overall, overall, very happy with this corn. I know you keep hearing me say that, but trust me, you didn't go through too much snow rain and worry to death. And now looking at it, um, I think the fungicide and sugars helped it, but very, very happy. So there's the cornfield that I showed you a minute ago. That's 104 day. Looks pretty good. And that's the 105 day. I just got enough bags. I wanted to try the 105 day just to see what it would do. So, looks good. This is on a sand hill right here. It's shorter, but when you get out there, it's really tall. Looks good. Um, I mean, yeah, it's not Midwest corn or some of these big guys around here that are excellent farmers, but for two months, no rain. Um, I couldn't be happier with the crop. Very happy with it. Uh, we'll see what the combine says when we get in it, but right now it kind of puts your nerves at ease how everything looks. So that's the video, not a big video this Wednesday. I just got back from vacation, wanted to kind of give you guys some idea of what we're looking at. Now our corn across town, our decob corn, and some of the corn on the other side of the highway was later planted stuff, so it looks better than this 
But if it looks better than this, and I think this looks damn good, then I think we're in for a, still a pretty good crop. Our top end on Sand Hills is going to be weak, but no rain for two months. Um, so as you can see, the clouds are starting to roll in from the hurricane, so I'm going to get this grass cut and call it a week probably because it's going to rain for four days, they say. So see you later.